While speculation continues over the possible deployment of the U.S. defense system known as THAAD, it's looking very likely that Korea will be beefing up its own defense capabilities by buying hundreds of advanced missiles from the U.S. Connie Kim has the details. On Thursday, the U.S. State Department approved a possible sale of 400 air-to-surface Hellfire missiles as well as related equipment to South Korea. Seoul had requested semi-active laser missiles, air training missiles, and captive air training missiles. It is now waiting for the U.S. Congress to approve the purchase. The advanced weaponry will improve South Korea's ability to defend itself against North Korea. These new weapons, coming at a price tag of 81 million U.S. dollars, will be used on Apache helicopters, and 36 of which are expected to arrive in South Korea next year. Hellfire missiles are mainly used to target tanks and armored vehicles. It's estimated that Pyongyang possesses about 3,800 tanks, while Seoul has some 2,400. What's more, experts say the Hellfire missiles are also capable of destroying North Korean underground tunnels located on the truce line between the two countries. And inside the tunnels, Pyongyang is estimated to have some 3.4 million long-range artillery projectiles aimed at the southern part of the peninsula. Connie Kim, Arirang News.